my Triumph Tiger 955i. Now I've tested the stator, that was good. Just tested my regulator rectifier, that was good. So I just need to follow the power through the wiring loom over to my fuse box and to the battery. See what's going on there. So to start with, follow the cable down from your rectifier and we want to put probes in the red and the black side of this. The bike needs to be running the entire time through this testing. Uh, so do it outside, exhaust fumes and what have you. Um, so let me get my probes in and get this thing started. All right, there we go. So I've jammed my probes in, red on red, black on black. And set my gauge to 20 volts. So I set the gauge to 20, that'll be fine. Now let's start the bike. Right, as you can see, that was putting out nice voltage, just what we needed, 14.2, brilliant. So now I want to actually see if we need to be following both the, the earth or the positive. So keeping the bike running, pull your posi out and then chuck it onto the positive terminal of your bike. In my case, the voltage dropped. It dropped down to like 13 volts, maybe a bit 13.1 or something. So I had the problem on the positive side. And to check the negative, chuck the positive back in there and take the negative out and put the negative on the negative side. Um, that, should, that in my case was exactly the same as what the engine was outputting, 14.2. So that was great. Um, so we now know I need to focus on the positive side. So basically, bike's running the entire time. Um, pull these out and stuff them in the other side of the plug. Um, black to black, red to brown. Because you want to just make sure there's no voltage. I mean, there shouldn't be, but I'm just testing everything. You want to make sure there's no voltage loss inside this plug. You could have a dirty connection. And I don't want to take it apart. So I'm just testing the other side of the plug. And that tested fine. So next we come up to the fuse box. Because basically that loom runs directly to the fuse box so you just get your little screwdriver put it in that gap there a little bit smaller screwdriver would have been better but never mind all right now if you look inside that little lid it's number six the 15 amp that's the alternator so your power is running from your rectifier right through to this one here so again, the bike is still running. You want to um, secure, oh, I've got rubbish everywhere. Right, you want to wedge your negative probe. We'll get someone to hold it, wedge it through, get it in there somewhere, just so it's wedged nice and tight. And then with your positive, if you can see, there's little gaps, just, you can see the little pins, just, just there. You can touch the pin there. That should give you the same output, should be 14.2 there. And the same the other side should be 14.2 there. Now, it wasn't. In my case, um, it was 13.1, 13.2, the same as a battery. So now we know the problem is this area here. So we've tested the plug the other side, the power's coming into here, and the power drop is actually here. So, ooh, we need to lift this off. You can pull the fuse out as well, um, but the problem is you can't, it's hard to start the bike and there's all sorts of hassle. So you're better off starting the bike with a fuse in um, and just testing these points out here. Right, okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way. Bigger screwdriver. So the problem must be the connectors at the back. So let's wedge this camera somewhere. Right, so let's get this off. So basically there's just plastic pins that go down. 
So you just um, get your screwdriver underneath, gently, you don't want to break it, and just gently pull it up. I'll put it on a cloth, I mean my frame isn't in the best condition, but no point making it worse. Just gently give it a little lever up, and she pops out. Wonderful. Right. Uh, so I could do with a cameraman. Okay, let's chuck this over there. Now it's quite tight, the wiring is quite tight to actually get this to turn over. So be careful not to damage anything. Now, right, let's grab the camera. As you can see, it's actually pretty clean in there, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but there you go. Um, so, bike is, you know, get that bike running again and then get the probe in the back of here. Now, when I put my probe in the back of here, I had the full voltage coming out. Um, I think it was the this side that was flowing in, and that side flowed out to the battery. I can't remember which way around it was, but the power was coming in, so I had the proper voltage on one side, and then I had the volt drop on the other side. So it was obviously the connectors. I checked the fuse, I pulled the fuse out, switched the fuse, there was no difference. So basically, it was in the back of here. Um, so as you can see, it's it's not a spade. I'm not really too sure what that is. Um, I don't know how they're how they're fixed. You can see the empty ones, the actual spade things in there. So I think the wires get pushed in. They must have some special tool or screwdriver where they give it a wiggle and bend them in to secure them. So that's what I did. I basically got in there with my screwdriver and I started tightening up these little little braces here, pinched the connectors a bit tighter and then I retested this size of the fuse with again the bike running and lo and behold the voltage jumped up to 14.2 um, and then obviously when I then come over and tested positive and negative on the battery again my voltage was back up to 14.2 so this must be a little bit of a common thing happening um, with Triumphs because on the um, forums there's people talking about losing a voltage on air bikes um, and what they've done, they've just, where we tested it, on the plug down there, they run a new wire directly from there with a fuse in line to the positive side on the battery. Um, so they just had a direct feed, shorter cable, um, and that's worked well for them. Um, but I'd rather not have extra wires if I don't need to. So basically fixing it is my preferred option. So that has actually worked for me. Um, if it does continue to play up later on down the line, I might very well do the same and run a direct wire from A to B. And um, obviously with an internal fuse, this 15 amp fuse, get an inline fuse wire and run it directly. I mean, is it more hassle taking the connector off and running that through rather than messing with this? I don't know. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I've, I've already done this. That's why. Um, and it worked for me. So that could be your problem too. So there we go. Back together. And charging fully.